Good morning, beloved. Today, I am thinking of the ancestors, not just the ones recorded in our history books, but the ones omitted from those pages. The justice seekers, the freedom riders, the organizers, the community builders, every loved one that packed a brown bag lunch, led a freedom song, risked their life and livelihood, that vaselined an elbow and sent up a prayer. Their sacrifice and self-determination shaped history and brought us to this moment. The truth of the matter is, we are because of them. We are black with a capital B. We are the manifestation of the movement. We are a symbol of social, political, and cultural progress. If my granddaddy, the Reverend E. James Eccles, were here, he would whisper in my ear and say, grandbaby, make it plain. And I intend to do just that, make it plain. We are in unprecedented, uncertain times. We are challenged by the state of the nation and the crisis we face, but the state of our movements, it is strong. And another world is possible. Yes, it is possible to legislate justice and accountability. People over profits, joy over trauma, freedom over fear. Yes, it is possible to write budgets that actually value black lives. If it feels unfamiliar, that's because it has never been done in America. We will meet the moment. We will work towards healing, justice, and collective liberation like our lives depend on it, because they do. We will march on, clear in our conviction, rooted in our faith, grounded in our history, intentional as we build. Let me make it plain. Black lives matter.